Well, now to a shooting investigation tonight at Jefferson Park. We're told one man was shot in the head in a crowded parking lot of a strip mall. Kick it on to Nicole Comstock live in Jefferson Park tonight with what we know. Nicole. Yeah, well, Jeff, it sounds like there were a lot of people just standing around out here in the parking lot behind us here when this shooting happened, who all had to scatter to get to safety. There are a lot of police officers out here tonight investigating, but take a look at some video that we shot just a short time ago, and you can see the bullet holes in the windshield on this dark-colored car in front of the Super 98 market in Jefferson Park. The women who drove it here said they stopped to get some soda tonight, and there were a bunch of people in the parking lot having some sort of get-together. Now, they say when they were walking back out, they heard gunshots and then saw a man drop to the ground in front of the store. We're hearing that that victim is an adult man, possibly in his 40s, and that unfortunately he died after being taken to a local hospital. Now, we're still waiting to hear from the LAPD about whether or not they have any potential suspects in custody or they're still looking for someone. But we did speak with those witnesses who are now having their car towed away as evidence in the shooting. They say if they wouldn't have run back inside this store, they could have been dead tonight. I went back to the register and went to the, in, to the back of the store to grab a 12-pack of soda. And had it not been for that, we would have been outside. Like, literally, Dr. Pepper saved our lives. Yeah, like, that's, that's how I feel. That was my car that got shut up. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be scary looking at the bullet holes in your car and thinking you could have been standing over there when this happened. The bullet holes is right where our heads were. Yeah. Now, those women say the owner of this market did his best to keep everyone safe and actually allowed a lot of those people to hide in the back of his store until police arrived out here. They say they feel heartbroken for the man who lost his life. Reporting live in Jefferson Park, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. Nicole, thank you.